Charges have been filed in connection to the hit and run death of a 10 year old girl in Aiken County. According to a criminal complaint filed with this case, Stephen Lee Meyer faces two counts of felony criminal vehicular homicide after blood matching victim Kaylin Donovan's DNA was found in his boat trailer. His Jeep Cherokee allegedly struck her along Highway 18 on June 10th. Just before 8 p.m., a witness told authorities he heard howling tires and a loud bang before watching the Jeep, followed by a pickup pulling a camper, both quickly drive away from the crash site. Authorities questioned Meyer and Deborah Chandler, who was traveling with Meyer and driving the pickup about Donovan's death. Chandler told, told authorities she knew Meyer had hit something and felt horrible for not stopping. Authorities say tire marks on Kalen's thigh closely re resembled those of his trailer. Both drivers were arrested on June 20th. Details about charges against Chandler have not yet been released. Governor Mark Dayton has announced the decision to appeal a court ruling that called a Minnesota energy law illegal. The law in question looks to improve air quality by restricting electricity from power plants that emit greenhouse gases. A three-judge panel of the 8th U.S. District Court of Appeals sided with North Dakota Utilities, who said the law prevents them from selling coal-based electricity in Minnesota. Dayton argued the law doesn't illegally restrict coal-powered plants. It only requires they be offset by reductions at existing ones. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.